Psalm 7, verses 10 and 11. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. Evil is an uncomfortable issue. I guess that most of us live peaceful lives and rarely come up against anger and violence. We don't deny that there is evil in the world, but we hear about it on the news, so usually we're far removed from it in our day-to-day -day lives. But as we bring our worship to God, we have to acknowledge that there is desperate evil in our world. Our psalm today makes clear that God is really angry about this, and so we cannot ignore it. There are people who die in violent conflict, and many of them are completely innocent. There are millions of people who have been displaced from their homes, and as they wake up today, they're in a place where they don't want to be. There are also millions of Christians who are unable to worship God openly because of their government's laws. Evil was on David's minds because of a particular person when he wrote this psalm. He was having terrible problems with Cush of the tribe of Benjamin. This is the only reference in the Bible to this particular Cush, and it's likely that he was a supporter of King Saul, with whom David was locked in conflict for many years. I'll do that again. This is the only reference in the Bible to this particular Cush, and it's likely that he was a supporter of King Saul, with whom David was locked in conflict for many years. Saul was also from the tribe of Benjamin. What is clear is that Cush was out to get David, who knew that if God didn't take action, then his enemy would maul him like a lion and tear him to pieces. Whether or not you've had such an experience, there are two things that we need to remember about God. Firstly, he hates evil. And secondly, he wants to be our rescuer. God is a God of justice, so whenever we confront injustice, or hear about it on the news, we need to remind ourselves that God stands with us. He doesn't ignore the evil, but longs that truth and justice should be found. That's why it's so important that Christians get together in fighting for justice, because it's exactly what God wants. David was clearly in a very dangerous place. The evil that he was facing was life-threatening, but he knew that God was his shield. If we didn't know God, then there will be every reason to be truly terrified of the evil in our world. But having God with us, we have nothing to fear. So let me ask you a question. In what ways have you faced evil? And how does your Christian faith help you to face it? And now let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you that you're always with us. Give us your strength and inspiration as we stand up to injustice. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. These talks are also available on podcasts, which you can access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Do hope you have a wonderful day.